Boba Seed Head Beers coming at you live from the dead in the water bracket of a modern preliminary. We are one in three. I forgot to hit yes to see the deck, the the hand, and another another mulligan here. You bosh the pry piercer here. So if you haven't seen this companion yet, um, if a source you control with an odd mana cost would deal damage, it deals double damage. So. A neat little card here. This is a much better hand. Um, and we will keep it and send back one of the rangers. I do feel like the rune halo can be relevant here against a black red deck. Um, double damage versus a life gain deck. So we got that. And they uh, odd converted mana cost and land cards. So yeah. Um, could definitely do an interesting burn deck with that, I suppose. Knowing the way uh, things have been going for us, we might just lose to a burn deck here. <laughs> it's kind of how it goes, I suppose. Um, So we'll play a land here and pass. Our opponent did mold a six. And they start with an Arbor Elf. So we, uh, it may be a Ponza deck as well, which is kind of neat. I, I do, I do like the idea of that in a Ponza deck. I like that we have a basic planes if it is a Ponza deck. On turn two, they're going to cast a turn a three drop spell. I can only imagine, or not. Um, yeah, I want to crack here just in case we get the third land for Rune Halo for uh, Ranger Cap. Or just Sarah send it. Seems seems fine. And we'll pass from there. And now we're going to cast something. Stomp. Gets us down to 30. Really can't stand this exile zone when something's on an adventure. Utopia Sprawl. That's a uh, Bone Crusher Giant is a cute way to get around the mana requirement, or uh, the deck building requirements of Obush. We'll drop another Martyr. Stuck on two lands again, just like last round. Uh, a lot more to do with those two lands this time around, though. I guess, is it even really fair to say a lot? Or just the fact that we were able to land a Saracen? So they bolt me. I will activate Martyr in response. And still get in there for six. 45 to 12 now. Opponent needs to do a lot here to, to get the better of us. Glorybringer is a card. We'll 
We'll swing in for another six. And play another Sarah. Don't really see them getting out now. And they concede to that. So Purge seems very good, as does the Disenchant. Um, Damping Sphere does not work the way we want it to here. Source of Spyglass is a little weak. I do like Elspeth um, as an extra board wipe, I think. Yeah, let's bring in, let's bring in Elspeth. Um, the more I think about it, do we even want the Disenchant? My gut says not really. Let's try it without and see what happens. Um, and so what do we cut here? I think going down one ghostly prison is fine. I do want to keep Weathered Wayfarer in just because uh, Ponza decks usually have a land destruction package. So let's cut a... You know what? Let's just... Let's cut the Elspeth and let's submit that for starters. Uh, this hand looks pretty solid. I would love to be able to resolve that Weathered Wayfarer for long enough for it to do stuff. It doesn't seem like it's going to be a thing here. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, is that Weathered Wayfarer really even necessary? Um, but we will see. We will, we will see. They start with a stomping ground tapped. And we get a martyr. I do want to use Weathered Wayfarer pretty aggressively here. And they say no to that idea. As they probably should. Now we're a lot more vulnerable to Blood Moon, I suppose. If they Blood Moon here, we're kind of just dead for a while. I will... I will... Allow that to happen. Can't do much about that. And we will activate Martyr to go up to 35. The good news about Flagstones is they can't pillage it. Or they could, but it kind of just make it's good for me and bad for them. So let's see if they have an answer to this Sarah send it. They need to deal 5 damage in a single turn. There's a Utopia Sprawl. Naming green. And they play a Kitchen Finx. Haven't seen a Kitchen Finx in a long time. Have not seen a Kitchen Finks in a long time. So we'll go in. They have access to a ton of mana here. And they will play this guy for double damage. Might be too little, too late. I might want to path that guy, though. 
Down to two cards our opponent is. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put my foot down, put my foot on their throat here and path that guy. Rather than present lethal. They will kill the Sarah Ascendant, though. Yeah, okay. One card left in hand here for our opponent. At any time, a Blood Moon is, is pretty brutal. Glorybringer is, has haste. In hindsight, I might have passed that Glorybringer. Yeah, they'll deal four damage. Do I trade here? Kind of have to. Um. Yeah. Let's trade and then let's path their Finks. And be. Still have a pretty solid life total here. And they've got a giant. So I really hate to beat a dead horse here. Like, I really, really hate to beat a dead horse here. But we're six, seven turns in and haven't drawn a single land. For the third game in a row, we're stuck at two lands. As of turn seven. For the third game in a row. Not saying RNG is an SOB, but RNG is an SOB. And they hit another Glorybringer. We may just die here to not having lands. Because they're coming in pretty hot and heavy. And now that is irrelevant. So, yeah. This is, this is the oof here. We're going to die to not drawing lands. It's just a little annoying, seeing as we run 24 lands in the deck. We should be drawing lands at a rate of about better than every third draw, and we haven't drawn a single one. RNG, definitely kicking us in the teeth today. That is still not a land. Um, I really don't want to discard anything, but anything I put on the battlefield just dies, so I kind of have to. We'll discard a ranger and pass. Really, really unfortunate to drop a winnable game to no lands. I'm looking, I'm making sure there wasn't a way to end this uh, sooner. I guess I could have played the second Sarah and had that instead of pathing, but that just wasn't the case, I guess. Yeah. Ten draw steps, no land. Ten draw steps, no land. Woof. Big woof. Um, I'm... Yeah, I kind of just want to run it back here. Kind of just want to run it back. We will take the play. I th Part of me wants to just stop tempting the fate and not keep a hand unless it has three lands in it. But, like, it's unreasonable the rate at which we're not drawing lands.
Yep, nope, not keeping that. It's, it's just such a good hand. It's a solid hand. I don't even know what to ship. I guess I'll ship the Ballista, since I can fetch for that later. And it's not really useful for me in the immediate... In any immediate sense. They do get the turn one dork. So we have... We have enough here to get Sarah online, but very... Very tight, for lack of a better way to say it. So I, I think I'm going to save Martyr until the next upkeep. Until the next step. Unless they make me... It's... Yeah. No, this is... We're going to lose. We're going to lose this game. We're just not going to draw lands, and we're going to lose this game. We're just not going to draw lands, and we're going to lose this game. Yep. That's just how that goes. Utopia Sprawl for our opponent. And a Tireless Tracker. That is... This deck is playing cards that I don't often see that I really love in their three drop slot. Tireless Tracker, Kitchen Finks are two stellar cards. Especially when the goal is to put down a bunch of lands. That's stellar. It's it's just a meme now. It's it's just a meme now. Two cards left in hand for opponent. Opponent getting pretty close to being able to actually is able to cast cast Ubosh. Or Obosh. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Coming in hot here with a giant tireless tracker, which we will block and sack too. <clears throat> we stand to gain a lot of life though, so there is that. Like next turn if we get anything that taps for white and isn't a misfail planes, which they already blew up one of, we can just do that and get a Saracen it down really aggressively. Let's see if they cast the Ubush. No, they crack some clues. And another one. No, Utopia Sprawl. Also naming, uh, naming red. They have one on red, one on green. And there's a Kitchen Finx. Seeing as I'm a Wrath deck, I should be able to handle this pretty well. That's that's a bummer, because now um, they can get in and get me down, unfortunately. But if I just keep drawing land, we'll be good. Or they just always have the Pillage. Just why would you not have the pillage? Like, in what universe do we live in where people don't have the pillage? Yep. 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 I can't say I haven't drawn any land this game. I can't say I haven't drawn any land this game. There's 24 lands in this deck. Like, granted, I'm going to draw a Crucible here to kind of twist the knife, but I shouldn't be this thirsty for mana. That's a bad little Lightning Bolt. Dealing double damage. Do these things deal do double damage too? Yeah, they do. I don't know what we're waiting for. 
passed to me so I can concede. Dope. Yep, big bummer.